G'day, welcome to another day. I'm starting pretty chill today. Uh, going for uh, a viewing of Barren Falls. There's a nice waterfall. Then we're gonna go off to Port Douglas and then off to a botanical garden. Uh, so all in all, it should just be a nice relaxing sightseeing day. Uh, it's nice here. It's 27 degrees, but we're still in a rainforest at this point. And so there's a nice breeze because of the waterfall below. Uh, um, but we're shaded from the sun, so no need for any sun cream yet. Just have a look. So I'll show you the waterfall in a sec. But uh, yeah, feeling pretty relaxed right now. Just a lot of wild turkey around my feet and even even they didn't scare me too much, so good times. So this is our first viewing point of Barren Falls. This uh, is a train line which we will be going along tomorrow. Yeah, it's quite impressive. Falls. This ant. Yeah. So fast is hard to keep up with. Just stopped off for a quick viewing point opportunity as we were driving. This is Cairns. We just drove past this and uh, there was a stop off point so we stopped off. And although you can probably hear a wind, it's really hot. You forget when you're in the air conditioning of the car how hot it can actually be outside. Douglas and super chill and calm until we sort of step beyond that bush and then the sea breeze hit. Popular place though. There's the beach down there. Just had a lovely lunch and I'm gonna show it to you now. It, it was, it's was called a Cuban toasty. It had barbecue pulled pork in it, so, you know, it had me at barbecue pulled pork massive side of fries um just a very nice meal indeed it didn't look much from the outside it just looked like a little beachside cafe but the food was actually really good quality 
very tasty. Had a lovely banana milkshake as well. Even though the milk over here is a bit weird. Um, it just seems very different to what it is back at home, but the milkshake was delicious. We just pulled over again to another viewing point along the side of the road. Look at that view. It's really warm. When you're not in the sea breeze, it's killer. It's all right here because we are in the sea breeze. It's a particular shot though. On a lovely day back home, this could be Wales, right? You join me here, the Cairns Botanic Garden. We are having a good look around. We are trying to avoid standing on turkeys as they are running wild all over the place. We see here the great red hanging thing, thingy me jiggy bob. I think that is its official title. We see here the tall, sprouty up over the ground thingy me jiggy bob. I think that there is definitely a future in um, this sort of line of work for me. I clearly know my stuff when it comes to what everything is. So far what I like, out of the sunshine. And free. Listen to the sounds of nature. Well, there were sounds and then they seem to have stopped. Maybe they're camera shy. Let's check this out. It's very green. Down here, lovely little stream. Oh, I'm standing right in the sun at this point. It's very bright. Lots of interesting sounds in here. I guess it's a bit like being back at the house. Is that going to move around? You join me here for a little bit of live streaming. quite peaceful just listening to the stream flowing yes very peaceful indeed I actually have no idea where the other three have gone uh, I just kind of stopped to take a few pictures do a bit of filming looked up and they were gone and there's a few different paths you can take so I've probably just taken a completely different path to them I'm sure I'll catch up with them soon in fact I think I just saw Owen out of the corner of my eye yes yes I did see him out of the corner of my eye so I just have a look around me still in these gardens no it's weird because it is just like being at the house but I guess where we're staying in the house that's not exactly common place for people because pretty much everything I've seen here, apart from the odd plant here or there, uh, we've got surrounding us uh, in the house. Oh, I could just see something either flying or dangling from a web. Let me see, I'm gonna turn the camera around and see if I can get it on camera. That's it there, I'm not sure what it is, I can't really see. 
it seems to be moving. I think it's a, oh yeah, it's crawling up a web. It is, it's crawling up a web. I don't know if you can see it on the camera now, I've lost it. I've completely lost it. I'm right under it, but I can't seem to see it on the camera. Oh, there we go. No, I lost it again. It's moving around, it's swinging. There it is, got it. Don't know what it is, can't really see, but I can see something. It's moving at a, a rate of knots. It's moving very fast now. It's swinging around in the air. I'm gonna leave it be. I feel like Alma Fudd has been around here before we arrived and told everybody to be very, very quiet. Uh, there is a butterfly right in front of me. If you know me well, you know it's quite an impressive feat for me to be stood here filming this butterfly, because I am not a butterfly fan at all. I'm not going to hang around here too much longer. I'm going to flutter off myself. But there we go. A butterfly. Now this is interesting. It's a sculpture. Looks very interesting indeed. If anyone is a fan of the hundred, uh, then the last season of the hundred, which I think was season five, uh, wonderful show. You should watch it. And this reminds me of um, one of the uh, the areas used a lot in that show, in that particular series. Interesting. Friendship circles, they're called. I've just heard quite an interesting uh, discussion uh, from a child and her mother and how disappointed she was because she was told she was coming on a unicorn hunt and they haven't found any unicorns, uh, so which has led to a big debate between them as to whether unicorns are actually real in the first place. Uh, so I feel the parrot may have opened a can of worms there. Uh, good times. What's well, the song about the kookaburra? Now I've spent a bit of extended time walking around in this heat. I can tell you, it is officially hot. Like, really hot. Getting a sweat on. A little bit of Cairns traffic for you. So that's church and the school. Uh, Mum and I are about to go to that church now for the Easter Vigil Mass. The school and the church are called um, Mother of Good Council. Mother of Good Council School, Mother of Good Council Church. This Easter Vigil Mass is really early as well, it's like half five, which is unusually early for such a Mass. Well, the Easter Vigil Mass is over, and Mum and I are now waiting for Owen and Maria to come pick us up, and then we're going to go out for tea. Yeah, it was nice to experience, um, like, Mass in Australia. Um, a nice experience, and uh, hopefully tea will be a nice experience too. Uh, this morning, I bit into my tongue, and it was kind of alright for a lot of the day, but then as the day's gone on, it started to really hurt. And... Um, I was really just focusing on that through the mass, thinking, wow, this hurts a lot more than it uh, than it did earlier. So hopefully that won't be a long-lasting thing. Well, we're coming out for tea. We've come right into the sort of main touristy part of Cairns. So we get to have a little look around. I'll find a little story about the priest, I forgot to say. Uh, at the end of mass, an Easter vigil mass, he uh, wished everybody uh, a happy Christmas. And then he realised his mistake and changed it to Happy Easter. Definitely all hustle and bustle here. 
nearly half seven, just a few minutes from half seven. And uh, we are heading to our destination. I don't know where Owen is. I don't think he's at the front. But I can't see him at the back. I'm sure I'll catch us up in a sec. So it seems uh, Mum and Maria just sort of ploughed on. I caught up with them and then realised Owen is nowhere near. So I'm going to go back and see if I can find Owen. I feel like Annika Rice on a challenge right now. Operation Find Owen. It smells good around here to be fair. Can't complain about the smell. Yeah, it's still busy in there. I've completely backtracked. I've got nowhere near to Owen. Back of the car now. Oh, well, this is a fun game. I'm thinking he's either gone into the night market or he's gone up the roadside as I've come the pavement side. I'll just go back to where we were and see what the situation is. Turns out Owen just got to the restaurant. Uh, I just followed the other two and Owen is just plowed on straight to the restaurant. So there we go, he's there already. He must have just cut through the night market. I'm sure we'll find out soon. Still, loads of people. So this is the main front of Cairns, Tourist Central. That's where we're going. Barnacle bills, seafood, steak and pasta, as well as the seafood. So Owen is here already. And so let's hope it's a good evening. Just zooming in there because I'm taking a picture. Oh, there, there's the man himself. Right, let's hope this is good food. Barnacle Bill. For one of these, somebody's lunch, tea, dinner, whatever you want to call it. Somebody's going to be scoffing one of those later. Uh, well, that was Barnacle Bill's, and um, here's a picture of what I ate. It was uh, Chicken Supreme, um, basically it was the only thing pretty much that wasn't fish or steak. I don't really like fish and I don't like steak, so Chicken Supreme was basically the only thing on the menu that I could eat, but it was actually quite nice. It isn't something I would have chosen, but um, it made me realise how much I like pumpkin, because they had pumpkin with it, um, so pumpkin, uh, that's going on my Ian Likes list, pumpkin. Uh, so now we're gonna go try and find some ice cream. That makes me happy. But there is the wharf we were at yesterday. The one where we got the boat to Green Island. So we're not that far. It is total tourist central world. This is where we are getting our gelato, Vito gelato. So that looks good from what I can see. I look forward to tucking in. Get a bit closer, see what the flavours are. Banana, and a Going for the cherry and I think the salt and caramel down there. I'm tempted by the Maltese, but I'm not sure. It just looks like stracciatella with some Maltese on it. Yeah, I think I'll stick with all the pink. Cherry and salted caramel. Ice cream, salt caramel, and I'm cherry. Good times. Well, there we go. Another day done and dusted. I uh, don't want to stay up too long editing video stuff tonight because we've got to get up early tomorrow. We've got a busy day tomorrow, but a fun day tomorrow. We are going on a sky rail. We are going on a railway. 
And uh, so tomorrow is a day I've been looking forward to because it is one of the the activities that's supposed to be really good. Um, do have to get up a bit early. Not looking forward to that, but that's why I want to make sure I do get to bed um, at a reasonable hour this evening. I can't tell you what the time is because I'm not sure. I think it's nearly 10 o'clock. So we've got ourselves sorted, get to bed, ready to get up early in the morning. We're going to make sandwiches and stuff now, so get on top of that. It's been a good day uh, on the whole. Port Douglas was nice. Um, botanical Gardens, good. Went to went to Mass, obviously, and then we went to the waterfall this morning. We'll see more of that tomorrow, I think, as part of our tour. And then this evening, uh, getting to see sort of Cairns in all of its uh, touristy glory, uh, finishing off with a lovely ice cream. So it's good, all in all, a good day. Uh, when Owen and Maria came back to the house earlier, they went to the shops while Mum and I went to church. Uh, apparently there was a toad um, down by the washing machine area, uh, that's near the hot tub area too, so something extra to keep an eye out for now, toads on the loose. Uh, so there we go, uh, thanks for watching, another day done and a new one will soon begin. Good night. Well I thought that was going to be the end of the day until I just it out into the, the other room, getting stuff sorted for tomorrow, and then my mum jumps, and turns out there's a massive cockroach uh, in the cupboard where we've got some of our food. Uh, so we had to deal with that. Fortunately, Owen just kind of swept it out to the outside. Uh, after we found it, we had to get all the food out, and then we saw it. Uh, and then, um, saw another cockroach. So um, it's like cockroach hour in the house. Uh, this fills me with uh, joy, obviously. Uh, going to be going to bed with all of that in my mind. Mm, good times. Or not. <laughs>